what's up YouTube it's Jamie here and today I have an awesome review for you for a really really cool piece of hardware and it is the mini volt by Council of Vapors so yeah this is probably the most compact 40 watt mod I have ever seen it is incredibly tiny as you can see compared to my hand so yeah this is an awesome little stealth vape um, right now I have the low pro RDA sitting on it which makes this thing incredibly small so yeah, it's a really cool device. Um, as always, I'll put a link down in the description for you to pick one up from Max Vaping. And uh, right now I'm pretty sure you want to see more of it, so let me get to unboxing it. Alright, so this is going to be your first look at the Mini Volt up close. Um, I've already unboxed this one as you can see right here, but I put everything back in just to show you what comes in the box. So, of course, first thing got your mod right here so let's take this out put it right here it's a pretty simple box not much in here take this thing apart you got your USB cable in there take the whole thing out and you got your instruction card which is you know pretty pretty uh, self-explanatory tells you what to do but I'll be going over all that in this video so let me put all this stuff over by the side and let's take a look back at this little guy. So yeah, this is the Mini Volt. Um, I'm going to do some size comparisons just to show you how really small this thing is because I was really surprised when I first got it. I thought I knew how small it was, but I was really surprised. So here it is next to a VTC Mini and the VTC Mini is already a really small single 18650 device but as you can tell the mini volt is a lot smaller so it's a few more size comparisons so you can obviously tell this thing is a lot a lot smaller <laughs> here it is with a super low profile addy on it and you can tell it is still way smaller than the VTC even with an Addy on it so <laughs> yeah this thing is really tiny um, a few things about the device it has a lipo battery inside of it so it is a non externally charged battery you cannot take the battery out and charge it but yeah it has a lipo battery to charge it simple enough you have your little micro USB port down here um, it is a 1300 milliamp battery which is you know, I would say about half the size as some, as, you know, it is a 1300 milliamp battery, which is about, you know, half the milliamp hours of a normal, uh, you know, lithium ion battery. But, you know, I'll get more into that later. I'll, I'll, I'll talk a little bit more about that later. Yeah, as you can see, there's a little smile on the bottom, kind of creepy. The dimensions of this thing, it is 35 millimeters across. 22 millimeters wide and 56 millimeters tall so yeah once again extremely extremely tiny all right so your your wattage output goes from 5 to 40 watts uh, to set wattage this kind of confused me a little bit I thought it would be as easy as just pressing up or down but as you can see these don't do anything what you have to do hold the up button and the fire button for three seconds it'll start blinking and then you press your up or down buttons so really simple as you can see it's going up and down um, goes all the way up to 40 watts you know pretty self-explanatory your minimum resistance you're going to be using on this the minimum resistance you can have I believe is 0.2 ohms so the finish on the box, I think they did a really, really good job on the finish. I really like the carbon fiber inlay right here. And the rest of the box, it feels feels like there's a very soft layer of, I don't know, it feels like it might be rubberized. Um, but yeah, I just think it looks very, very, very good. It's rubberized paint coat with carbon fiber inlay on it. Another feature on this little guy is that it has ramp mode options. So. Basically, to change these, what you're going to do is, just like if you're changing the power, you're going to hold the fire button and the bottom button this time, not the top button. So, hold these down. Oops. So you can see power is blinking right now. I can click it up. It goes to soft, standard, and power. 
and these are all going to be uh, involving your ramp up times. The soft means it's going to ramp up a little bit slower than the standard of the power. Standard it's obviously normal. Power is going to be fast ramp up time. So that's kind of interesting. Um, you know, I don't really see that on a lot of other devices, but I feel like it's really helped me with some of the little bit bigger builds that I've put on here because, you know, it is a really tiny little device. It's only 40 watts, but, you know, sometimes the fast ramp up time can help you with those bigger builds. So yeah, other than that, pretty simple device. You got your standard 510 connection. You know, you got your micro USB port for charging. Um, I believe at this point you can use it as a pass-through device. So you can have this thing plugged in, charging and vaping at the same time, which is really nice if you're just, you know, sitting down at a desk or whatever you're doing if you're stationary. So now that you've seen this little smiley guy, I'm gonna go back up top and uh, vape on it a little bit and talk to you guys about some pros and cons. So I've been really, really, really digging this device. Um, the only major irk I have with it is the battery life. It's only a 1300 milliamp battery, but I guess what do you expect for a mod this small? Um, I'm gonna say right now, if your like major vape, the only type of vape you can have is a big, huge, airy, high wattage, you know, double clapped in, whatever it is vape, this is not the device for you. Um, you know the 1300 milliamp battery it's it's about half the size of a normal lithium lithium ion battery but you know there's ways to work around it what i found out is if you build high ohms on this or the higher ohms you build the better your battery life this is going to have it's not going to pull as many amps on the battery and it's going to extend your battery life a lot more um i can usually vape this for about a day without having to recharge it uh, the 1300 milliamp, you really have to work around it. You really have to build higher ohms in here to, you know, support the battery life that it comes with. Um, all right, so with that being said, I'm going to get into some pros of it. Um, obviously, the first pro is going to be the size. You saw how small this thing is. It's, you know, incredibly tiny. There it is next to the VTC again. Uh, here it is next to a cuboid and it is a fraction of the size literally it is you know incredibly tiny this is a awesome little stealth vape you know I'm really glad Council of Vapor decided to make this thing because I've really wanted something like this for a long time it's incredibly tiny you know it has enough power if you build right in it you know I'm really really impressed with it another thing I liked about it were the ramp modes in it. Um, it adds a little bit of customization to, you know, your vape, how you like it, or, you know, however you don't like it, really. <laughs> but, yeah, it adds a little bit more customization there. If you have a little bit of a bigger build in here, you can heat it up faster. If you have, you know, a really high gauge build in here that, you know, might burn too fast at high wattage, you can, you know, set the ramp time down low so you can hit it for a little bit longer. You know, it really helps you out on a little bit of the customization, like I was saying. The next pro, I would say is definitely the look of it. I really like the little carbon fiber inlay on it. Um, I think it's just a really, really good looking mod. It's incredibly simple. It's, you know, really tiny. They got their little Council of Vapor logo on the back, on the bottom. Really, really tiny mod. Yeah, I just, I just think it looks, you know, really good for what it is. Another pro about this thing is that it has pass-through charging. So, you know, if you're stationary somewhere, if you're sitting down at a desk or, you know, wherever for a long amount of time, just plug it in the wall and you can still vape off of it while it's charging. The last pro I would say is the power. This thing, you know, it really, really hits well. It hits really solid. Um, right now I got one and a half ohm coil in it and this is it at 40 watts. So, you can see, even though this thing is really tiny, it can still, you know, blow a decent amount of clouds. It can still provide a really satiable vape, which is awesome. You know, it still has that 40 watts to give you a really, you know, satiable vape if you build high on it. Alright, so now to get into the cons of this thing. So, obviously your first con is going to be the battery life like i said it's only a 1300 milliamp hour battery but what did you expect with a device this tiny uh, <laughs> the second con is this does not do temp control i know that might be asking a bit much for a mod this big 
but it would be really nice if they came out with like a V2 in the future that did temp control, because I really am a sucker for temp control, and I think, you know, it would make this device a lot better. The last con I could really think of, and you know, it's probably not a con for a lot of people, and it's really not even that big of a con for me, but the size of it feels a little bit weird to me. I just, I really love the fact of how tiny it is, and I don't want to say it feels awkward in my hand, but you know, it's really tiny. I kind of feel like Zoolander with like that little tiny cell phone in the movie. You know, it's, it's just a really, really tiny little device. You know, you can stick in your hand, but really only like two fingers are holding it when it's in your hand. So I don't know. I'm just not used to a device this small, but it's really cool. And, you know, I wouldn't even say that's really a con, but it just feels a little weird in my hand just because I'm not used to a device this tiny. Overall, I really, really, really dig this device. You know, there's, there's just a few things I feel like that could be fixed with it. Um, but the thing is, you know, things like battery life, if you're putting a bigger battery in it, it's going to be a bigger device. So, you know, this really is for you stealth vapors out there, for those people that... You know, if you just want to carry something on the go for like a day, if you don't want to vape that much or whatever, this thing is perfect to take with you. It is so tiny. Um, you know, I'm just, I'm really into it. I just wish the battery was a little bit bigger and I wish it had temp control. But overall, I really enjoyed this. I'm going to give it a, s overall, I really enjoyed this. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. You know, there are a few things that I think could be better with this, but, you know, what do you expect from getting a mod this tiny? It really does everything it says, and, you know, it performs extremely well. You know, for the, for the form factor of it, I think it's a really good mod. I wish I could rate it a little bit higher, but, you know, I wish it did temp control and a few other things. So, overall, awesome device. I would give it an 8 out of 10. Totally worth picking up.